Hey downtimers, the southern summer is gone so we can actually spend a little more time outside with highs in the 70s. So I started thinking it might be pretty fun to enjoy our TTRPG outside. And in order to do that, we really need an outdoor gaming table. Keep in mind, you do not have to have everything that I have listed here and everything that I have on my outdoor gaming table in order for you to have fun gaming outdoors. But the way that I created mine was at first, I found a very large piece of plywood. And this was just one of those things. Actually, a lot of these things were junk, trash, leftover items from the previous homeowner. So I take the four colors of spray paint and I start with the dark brown and I put the dark brown over the knots in the wood and I figured those are going to be spots that are going to be dirt or maybe rocks and so forth and then I just start working from there. I add the, the tan after that and then I just start working with basic paths with just a real kind of abstract pattern for pathways and such through the area with the tan and then the adding the greens kind of around the tans and you'll see kind of a, a pattern start to develop a little bit. It's very abstract. I kind of wanted it to be abstract because I want this to be very versatile. And I also was able to find a couple wooden pallets and a heavy duty plastic storage box. And I also had some poles I could use from a previous above ground swimming pool that are very durable, very strong and, and waterproof. So those will be around for a very long time. And I knew those would work really well for legs. And my neighbors were actually doing a kitchen renovation about a year or so ago. And I went over and noticed that they had ripped out all their granite countertops. And they were, of course, replacing those. And I noticed that the design on the countertops that were ripped out looked kind of like rugged mountain terrain, right? So I really thought that was interesting. And I really liked the fact that it was all broken up already. And of course, they told me I could have it all if I wanted it. And of course, now this is granite, so you can let it sit outside all you want. It will not be harmed by the elements or anything like that. And it's really heavy, so you situate it on your gaming table and it's there. It's not going to move. And I have some gray rocks and I just use those as kind of a filler for the mountainous terrain setting. Also, they're just a slightly different color than, than the granite so it adds a little more color to the scene too now i was also was able to get some moss off the roof of my workshop we have a lot of trees so moss is everywhere and so i thought this was a really kind of a cool idea to use this moss on the outdoor gaming table because it needed something a little bit more than just the rugged granite pieces for the mountainous terrain. I thought it needed some vegetation too. And I thought it would be neat to kind of go with a, a real natural kind of vibe for the, the table, a real natural theme. Moss should last a really long time because it's a live plant. It adds a little more greenery to the mix for the table. And I think it looks kind of like some sort of shrub or you know some bushes and so forth on a miniature scale so it actually works really well and i can just leave that on the table and then i started thinking in terms of the trees what would i use for trees so i noticed that the hedges you know have really small leaves and i noticed whenever i trim those the trimmings stay green for a pretty long time so i decided to use that and just a little bit of the bark from one of our huge oak trees that we have here. And then I was able to just use a drill to drill a hole in the, the small pieces of bark that looked kind of like pieces of rock. So I thought that worked pretty well for a mountainous terrain look and theme to have the bark used as bases for the miniature trees. And of course now the only thing you have to really worry about with this table is you'll need to replace the hedge trimmings every so often. So when I first started working on this outdoor project, I thought it would be fun to make a table that we could enjoy our tabletop role playing game on. Then I started thinking in terms of what can I use on the table that's more natural and that will quite honestly, will just allow me to be a lazy table designer and just set out stuff and not worry about it. Then it just became what can I put on the table that's natural and might could even live on the table. 
So this has been a fun journey for me to put this table together, and I think it's helped me appreciate the more natural things in the environment a little more than just running off to a store or shopping on Amazon for something new. It kind of changes your perspective on things a little bit when you start looking around in your environment to see what you can utilize to make something like this so that you can enjoy your tabletop role-playing game with family and friends. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, if you got anything out of it, if you would, please give us a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you're thinking about making an outdoor gaming table, or maybe you've already made one, and you have some ideas that you'd like to share, please put those below in the comments. As always, guys, thanks for watching.